Hi everyone, this is Kansi from Atop Serenity Hill and today I'm going to show you um, a little mixed media baby book that I made to give as a shower gift. Um, I wanted to just run through some of the things I did in it um, so that you would have an idea of maybe something that you could do for a gift for someone you know. Uh, the book starts off, uh, it's made of chipboard. It looks like this came with this one actually and I got it from Michaels so it starts off as like a craft paper color and the first thing that I did was just paint all the different pages um, blue since I knew for sure that the person getting the gift was having a boy um, I went with blue and I used just regular acrylic paints and this was my palette I started with all different color blues I didn't really have anything specific in mind just every color that I loved and um, I started with just using like three at a time, slip slapping with a big brush over the cover and each page um, successively so that as you got closer to the back of the book, then it got using the, um, I started using the darker colors. So, and then to give it some texture, uh, I used something that I just discovered, which I totally love, which is this joint tape um, that I got at Walmart. Joint tape usually is very thin. Um, but I found this, which uses uh, is for walls itself, so it has a bigger surface, and it's also adhesive, so it sticks to the uh, surface, and then you can just scrub some paint through it, and that's how I got all this background texture that you see here on each of the pages. So the next thing I did was decide on a cover. The little footprint is actually a cookie cutter that I just painted inside of, and then used some white paint a white paint pen to outline it and then this ahoy it's a boy is the actual shower invitation part of the shower invitation that I glued onto the front so it makes it super personal for the uh, mom to be that's getting the, the gift and some washi tape which I adore and use with everything so inside um, I started with just some papers that I have I glued down everything I could think of. Papers from backgrounds. Um, these are all stickers. They came in a set. This one was uh, all footprint and handprints and then a variety of boy stickers that I got. Um, again, a paint marker and some washi tape. Um, I also used a black watercolor pencil and uh, a water brush just to give some shading to it. And the idea is that she can start adding photos and, and memorabilia to it. Um, this is a little two by two photo that I printed, um, just my regular printer on cardstock and their Instagram pictures. And this is, you know, a great size to go in this album. Um, it can just pop into any little section that she wants to add some photos to. And again, she could cut her own photos and make it whatever she likes. Uh, so the other ideas that I had were to add some pages that she could add some journaling to. Uh, this is just some papers that I had that I glued down, used a stamp, um, not a stamp, uh, a punch to punch out the corners. And again, some watercolor pencil and a water brush just to give it some color. More washi tape. And this little page was from a book I had, an old book um, about quotes from moms. And it was a good one. It was about a, a son, so it worked out really good for the page. So on this page, I used some foam rubber stamps and just white acrylic paint. Um, and then I added the black paint pen and a blue colored pencil just to give it a little more uh, color for the background. And I love the layout. It, it really is a cohesive look for the page. And then some, again, white paint pen um, dots. The white paint pen and the black paint pen that I have been using currently that I love are the Painters brand. Um, I think you see it this way. Um, a Painters brand that I got at Walmart and I really love them. They work really good on this acrylic background. So then I turn the page again, more washi tape, just some stickers, um, a little bit of paint pen marker, just lots of space to go ahead and add those little tiny pictures in as you go. And then this is a little bit dimensional. You can actually see, I think you can see it has some pops, um, sticker pops on the back. So it's a little bit of dimension for the page and um, to give it a little more texture. And this actually is nice because she can slip a photo underneath if she wanted to and add a few more. And then, you know, again, some fun papers that I had found. More journaling, more space for journaling, a little washi tape, some paint marker. 
And these are just some uh, punched stickers that I made um, from background papers that I just had lying around. One more of those lovely quotes about moms, some washi tape, some of the stickers. And you can see it has a cohesive look through it in that I kept similar colors, I kept similar papers. And, uh, and then, you know, some of the circles repeated the circles again. This is washi tape uh, that I made circle punches from. Um, if you tape the washi tape to wax paper and then punch it out, then you have a circle sticker. It's, um, or a half sticker, actually, because the washi tape isn't very wide, so you'd end up with a half sticker. But that's a really nice thing if you're sticking washi tape to wax paper, another um, way to use it by punching it out. So this is the back of the book. Um, again, a last journaling page. And then I decided to stick an envelope into the back page so that she could um, throw some photos in there or some memorabilia maybe that didn't fit in the book or things she just hadn't had time to put into the book yet. And a little thing I discovered is that um, when you tape the envelope down with washi tape, you can't just tape it straight like how on here. If you do that on the side, you can't actually get your hand in the envelope. So put your hand in the envelope and then add the washi tape. And you can see it almost gives it a bit of a hinge so that you can use the envelope. Um, it has some space in it so that it's useful. So and then at the very back, I have just this little sticker and I signed my name so she knows that it was from me. And I wanted to show you also this edging. I did some gold edging. I have this old pen. Um, it's a it's called an 18 karat gold leafing pen that I've had for I would say over 10 years. I have no idea how where I've gotten it. Probably from Michaels. Um, it's from Krylon, and I use it. It even has you can see it's been abused, and it indents on the on the edge because usually what I do use it for is just to run along the edges of um, projects and pages and that sort of thing. So this is uh, the little baby book. I am, in addition to the book, going to be giving her um, some adhesive and some gel pens so that she can um, use it for the journaling and then she has a quick way of adding um, all the pictures and memorabilia into and that way she's set to go when she gets the book and when she starts getting everything once the baby comes. So I hope this helped you with an idea of a, a little book that maybe you could do a little journal that you could give for a gift. Um, the possibilities obviously are endless as far as what your um, papers and sticky, you know, stickers and, and washi tape that you have on hand.